How's it going, everybody? It's your boy, Alex D Vlogs. What's good? So, what has happened recently? Well, you know what? Today has not been a good day for a lot of people in the cryptocurrency space. Uh, we have been having a red days, uh, last two days, but you know what? I think this weekend's gonna be really good. I kind of feel it. I feel like it's the ready. This is like, it feels like this was the shakeout before things start happening, like things start popping off because things have been popping off, uh, different coins have been going up recently, like for instance, um, was it two weeks ago uh, that I said that band protocol and link protocol popped off, right? It went to like $19 for link and like $18 for band protocol. And and now what has happened is those coins have popped off and then other coins have been going off like Algo and um, OMG yesterday hit like, what was it? 60 cents or something like that i don't i don't recall the price of it but it is up like 98 was it th what did i see 100 percent, 113 or so percent and so it is exciting we are excited now here in this cryptocurrency market things are going up different coins are going up right but what has not gone up was our favorite coin our coin my coin <laughs> XRP. Now, yesterday there was a uh, all town like a, a town hall meeting on cryptocurrencies. It had like uh, people from eToro, from Circle, uh, and of course it had Brad Garlinghouse there presenting as well. And it had a guy named Tom Emmers. He's like a U.S. senator. I forget what what state, but he's the guy that was in that video that was like talking to this lady, and he was saying, uh, "Did you know that uh, you know heard of Bitcoin and XRP and Ethereum? Have you heard of the coin XRP and uh, and uh, um, the use of Ripple or whatever?" He said. <laughs> And, and the lady was like, yeah, I, I kind of know what DLT is, but no one knows, right? Or they per perceive to show that they don't know. Anyways, he was there talking as well. And if you didn't watch it, there's just look it up. Uh, town hall meeting uh, for XRP, right? And so what has happened, right? Like Brad, I think in the start of that town hall meeting, like, people were asking brad questions and he was chatting and he wasn't even presenting right he was just talking to the different people and everyone was talking to xrp and to brad garlinghouse right and he was saying stuff and there was a thing he said uh there's a guy who asked this question he said what is the partnership of bank of america or do you, can you confirm partnership or whatever right and freaking brad garlinghouse said i can neither confirm nor deny the anything with Bank of America blah 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 smiley face right <laughs> that, that <laughs> guys that to me is the most positive thing that he could ever say even though he said neither confirm nor deny listen if you do not have something with uh with some group or you're trying to get some kind of uh say work with a group right you're gonna say you know uh yeah pertinent to the current analysis of the times through covid uh we have yet to uh pursue this process and would uh pursue it once the uh, overall atmosphere of the times have come to become more stable and, and economic blah 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 or will will pass and we will uh, execute at that time or something like that right yeah you could say uh, 
switch it on them and and you can say yeah that's that's positive but you know what that that to me is a negative uh type of a uh, uh, question answer right this guy mother effer he goes neither confirm nor deny confirm nor deny to me that is friggin confirmed that is yes we are with bank of america i'm not gonna say it on this chat this this group chat thing that's not something that i can say look at what's going on people read between the friggin lines bank of america is a partner already we all know this okay we know this man <laughs> and but listen you got you got to he, he's got to announce it when when millions of other people don't know it right and he's wanting to the price to go up right like we're going to slingshot up high and then and then it may get to like two or three dollars before he starts to announce Bank of America is a partner with XRP and that's gonna slingshot it to like ten bucks. Right? It may even get to ten bucks before he even announces Bank of America. So guys, XRP guys, XRP holders of the coin, don't sweat it. We are Bank of America. This is a Bank of America patent through Ripple. We're here already. Okay, we know that the, they un, they they're a partner of Ripple, and we know that Bank of America loves Ripple, and we know that Warren, uh, what's his name, Warren Buffett loves Ripple because he just bought a bunch of Bank of America stock, right? This guy is like, it, it is crazy what is happening. It is crazy, and and then here's the other thing. It's like. Uh, what was that other thing he said? Oh gosh, I wish I, I paid. I wish I could remember it because in my head I'm just thinking like this. This is a uh, th this town hall was the best thing that could happen in the last uh, couple of weeks, right? And it's still at thirty cents. It is still at thirty cents. Not even thirty cents. I think it's like twenty eight and a half cents, right? So you can still buy it for three for a dollar, three for one dollar, right? I'm gonna stop buying at like fifty cents, okay? I I had bought today and I bought XRP. There is no other coin that I want. There is nothing, nothing. I mean, you can be like a Bitcoin maxi. You can be a person who doesn't like XRP and tell me to you're losing money. You don't know what the hell you're talking about. But guys. XRP holders, you guys know that XRP runs the hardest, the fastest, but it also runs last. It's going to wait for all these other coins to pop off. Your other coins has not yet popped off. Your VET coin, your ADA has not popped off. Your, uh, your Litecoin, your Ethereum, nothing. Ethereum maybe a little bit, but I mean, None of your other coins, your EOS hasn't even gone up a little bit. These coins are like top 10 coins has not yet even moved. Not yet. And we're not yet at the top. We're not at the high. We're not at the all time high of Bitcoin. So why would they ever announce Bank of America? Nothing. No way. These guys are waiting for something huge. They're not going to announce it and then it gets to like 50 cents. So what's that? Right? They want to announce it at like say fifty dollars they announced bank of america is being used by ripple or ripples being used by bank of america through the coin xrp freaking thousand dollars right away right away it's gonna be crazy and so are your bags packed are you guys ready to go are you guys getting ready uh i uh <laughs> I joined this uh this uh crypto um group right and the group I joined uh, you need to go to crypto mentor dot ninety nine's website crypto mentor ninety nine go on his uh youtube channel he's a great guy he's the one that actually got me into uh some coins recently as well as uh my man x r p bags got me into some coins but 
uh, XRP Bags was the one that helped me get into this uh, coin group. Go check uh, their channels out. Maybe they might say, but um, the guy who who owns that group, who's the leader of this group, is like a forex trader. He's been doing it for 15 years or so, right? And he's now gone into uh, the overall market of crypto, and he's like, you know, showing people how to trade for at least one million dollars of assets uh, after this bull runs over he's saying like a thousand dollars you can get a million dollars right so uh he's given like a list of different coins that you can invest in and and one of them right uh i put in right i was positive i didn't get it from his group but it was on his channel but I pulled out and I put it into a different coin, right? I pulled out of that <laughs> that coin and then I put it into a different coin and <laughs> the other coin right now is down, but this coin is up. <laughs> the other coin I pulled out of is up. And it's on my head, my head. I'm thinking, mother effer, mother effer. First off, I sell band at like $7.50, right? I bought band at like five dollars, right? And I sold it at seven dollars and fifty cents. It went up to eighteen point eight. I could have sold for more than I got band for, right? So that was a good lesson, right? That not to oh just sell right away, right? You gotta you gotta feel the market out. So <laughs> it's just terrible uh, uh, why I did that. Anyway, I'm. I and so I'm not a financial advisor, but I'm telling you guys, this guy is promoting these coins and I'm thinking, all right, got to follow a guy who knows, right? Got to follow a guy who knows. He showed me his portfolio, one of his portfolios, right? And it was like 100K plus, okay? Let me tell you that. 100K plus on one portfolio, right? And I'm thinking, holy F, I have the same coins as this guy, right? And his, he's sitting on the 100k plus. He's gonna make a million dollars for sure during this bull run. I don't know if what he's doing is like pulling 100k out of his ass or from his other company and he put it in and shows his, shows these people, these are the coins to buy. Uh, these are the coins to buy. And then, show, and then meets with people and kind of like does that. I, I, I don't know, right? I, I'm only going by what people have been saying, and it's positive, right? Crypto Mentor, uh, Crypto XRP Bags, uh, he, they're just positive on this guy, right? So you just kind of have to, like, uh, take your word, take their word for it. I didn't want to just, you know, say, oh, well, let's see what happens. And actually, you know, these guys are like millionaires. Well, I'm like sitting here on the sidelines. Yeah, I have XRP, but I'm not making any money on my other coins, right? I'm still sitting on those. So anyway, I showed my portfolio and he goes, man, I like your coins. Your coins are good. You guys, are, you got some good coins there, but you're really heavy on XRP, right? <laughs> and so I'm thinking, oh yeah, I'm heavy on XRP, right? And that's all I've been buying. He goes, you need to trade out your XRP and put it in these other coins because uh, they're going to pop off and then you're not going to make any money and... It's gonna to be tougher, tougher for you, or at least uh, don't get married to your coins. What do you want, man? What do you want, Alex? You want X or P, or do you want money? And so I'm like, kind of stuck, right? I mean, I don't want both. Give me both. But of course, I like XRP. I I love it. But he kind of got me to sell some XRP for some other coin, right? And I. Uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm hoping that the, and so I've 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 held coins like ADA, right? I've held coins like Pundi X, for like two years, two years, and, and, and it didn't move, right? And so I sold them, even though I'm not really happy with it. I gotta realize that these are coins that. They're just letters. Okay, you gotta you gotta understand if you're in for the 
cryptocurrency market and try to become rich and try to become financially stable, you gotta say bye bye to some of them. Some of the ones that you really like, right? And put it into a coin that you've never heard of. Because it's there's a possibility for um, the possible gains that you may get going forward. I don't know, right? I, I'm hoping that I made some good decisions. We'll see in the next, I would say, month or so that I made a good decision or not. I'll tell you then if I did or not. <laughs> then again, we are in a crypto market. We're in the beginnings of a bull run. And I could still wait for more than a month. I could probably wait. It'll probably be towards the end of the year when things start popping off, really. With this election stuff, right? It sucks. Anyways, uh, that's just my spiel. I hope you guys are having a great uh, day. Friday, it's the afternoon. Hope you're going to have a great weekend. Uh, and just have... Uh, a great life be safe okay covid's out there you don't want to start coughing on people you don't want to get beaten up so wear a mask even though masks don't do shit uh i don't know oh i was at this channel too sorry one more thing is i was on this channel with uh gdlt that guy man he's like a a great uh Great XRP community member, right? He's been promoting all of us, of course, and he's been saying, you know, Alex D, I like your videos and promoting it amongst his channel. And on his channel, he, I was talking to this guy named Pebble. I forget his name. It's like Pebble something, right? It's like a four word name. And he was hating on Trump and Q and the Q Anon community. And I was kind of like defending them a little bit, right? Because I am, uh, I'm only pro-Trump only just because I feel like he can get the cryptocurrency community and Bitcoin and overall XRP to like levels that we've never seen, right? This guy is a businessman. We know that, right? He's not a politician. You know that he... he, he He's, he was with these elite people and he knows what they're thinking. So why wouldn't he uh, promote money, right? Why wouldn't he? And he's the leader of the free world. <laughs> if you could say what we're doing is free. But he was like kind of that guy Pebble on GDTLT's channel was kind of like, you know, talking down to the community, right? And I was kind of defending him, but I, I didn't want to take over GD, GDLT's channel because of what, um, what I could say I know, right? Or what I could say that the multi, like the the media, um, the fake news, I guess you could say, the CNNs and the news channels like that, are telling us, are telling you, right? <laughs> Pizzagate, just want to say that out. <laughs> Look that up if you guys don't know what I'm talking about. But overall, it, it's 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 gonna be a great year. We are gonna be, um, we're <laughs> we're going through some good times. In the next uh, six months or so. So strap on tight. My name's Alex D Vlogs. I'm just a guy on YouTube. I am not a financial advisor. Like, comment, subscribe. Remember. Always remember. about what you do with your money.